For this last page of our notes, we are going to look at a slightly different situation. For this problem, it gives us the moles and the volume of the hydrochloric acid initially. And then this one's a little bit different because it provides us with the value of the KEQ. All the other ones that we've been doing so far, we were asked to solve for the K. So this one's going to be a little bit different. Let's see how. So we first need to find the initial molarity of our hydrochloric acid. Since we are using seven and a half moles and we're putting it into a two and a half liter flask, the molarity of my hydrochloric acid to start is three molar. Let's plug in everything that we know into our ice table. The only piece of information we really do know is that the hydrochloric acid starts with a molarity of three. And we can always make the assumption that unless it tells you otherwise, you don't have any products in the beginning of the reaction because how would you? The reaction hasn't started yet. We do have some imaginary ones here in our balanced equation. And that's it. It kind of feels like there's a lot of unknowns here. And so um, there's less unknown than you realize. We do know that our reactant side is going to decrease and that our product side is going to increase. But this one's a little bit different because it didn't give us any equilibrium concentrations. So we could work backwards and find that change value. So how do we do this? Well, we do know that whatever number hydrogen is, let's say, that the chlorine change number is going to be the same. And we also know that because of this two in the balanced chemical equation, that this change number, whatever it is, is gonna be twice as big as our hydrogen and chlorine numbers. So let's call the change that happens to our hydrogen X. That would mean chlorine would be X as well, and the change for our hydrochloric acid would be 2X. Our equilibrium concentrations would be 3 minus 2X, X, and X. Once we get to this point, we can set up an equilibrium expression. So we do products over reactants. I don't have any exponents for my hydrogen and chlorine because they both have ones in the balanced equation, but I do need to square my hydrochloric acid. That two in the balanced chemical equation shows up in two places, the change line and as an exponent here. Let's start plugging in everything that we know. Well, we were told up above here that the KEQ value was 291. And then hydrogen's X, chlorine is also X, and then this guy would be 3 minus 2X squared. And then don't we usually, if we have X times X, we would write X squared. So at this point, it really is just an algebra problem, a yucky algebra problem though. So there is something you can do mathematically to help simplify the algebra a bit. Since this guy is squared and this guy is squared, if we square root it on both sides, that'll help drop some of those squares and it'll make the math much easier to figure out. So I'm gonna square root the 291 and square root this guy. And let's start to simplify. So if we do the square root of 291, throw that in our calculator, you'll get a number a little bit over 17. When we square root the right-hand side, um, the square root of x squared is just x, and then we still have that 3 minus 2x down here. It's just no longer squared. We have to get rid of that 3 minus 2x, so I'm going to move it out of the bottom of my fraction. Once you get this far, you have to distribute that 17 number to both parts of that problem. 
So that 17 number times three, I'm gonna get something approximately 51.1761. 34.1174x. Let's put all the x's on one side, numbers on the other. And then you wouldn't believe how many people make it this far and then screw up on their algebra. So we want to get the x by itself. We have to divide both sides by that 35. And your x is going to equal 1.46. So what did x represent again? Well, if I go back to my ice table, x was the uh, variable that we assigned for the change of hydrogen. So what that means is our hydrogen ion concent or hydrogen concentration at equilibrium is going to be 1.46 molar. Same thing with chlorine because it was also x. Now our equilibrium for hydrochloric acid was three minus two X. So I'm gonna do a little work for that hydrochloric acid down here. If it was three minus two X and our X was 1.46, throw that guy in our calculator and we'd get 0 0.08 molar. So our equilibrium molarities for the decomposition of hydrochloric acid under these conditions are right there.